Hello, everyone. My name's Carl. I go by Dr. Wraith Online. This is going to be your VPX standalone uh, setup tutorial for the At Games Pinball 4K. So in this, we're going to go over how to set up a table, um, some common issues that a lot of people have, and how to basically ask for help with those issues. First and foremost, before we get started, go into any file you have, click view here, go to the file name extensions. What this is going to do is basically make it so you can see what kind of file you're looking at. That's going to make things for you a lot easier if you're trying to troubleshoot um, or just putting together the files themselves. So make sure that's checked. Once you get that, let's go ahead and head over to the at games, the unofficial at games discord server. So here is where you're going to have your first guide. Check this out, read this, this is going to have a lot of information. Um, it even has links to some flash drives that we know work. Um, not all flash drives are equal. Uh, I had a SanDisk before I got mine working. It, for whatever reason, just wouldn't work. So if you're having issues, that could be one. You can try using one of these. Next, and most importantly, we're going to go ahead and grab the files that we need to set up the tables. So first, we're going to get the VPX standalone bundle. This is basically the, the application that is going to be running on the Pinball 4K. So we're going to click that. It should open up a browser and download it for you. Next, we're going to get this file here. This is the VPX launcher file. It's a .l file. This is a super important file. The reason this file is so important is because this is the file that basically you're going to be adding to every single game that you download. This file is what the app looks for to show there's a table there. Um, so without this, um, you won't have the table showing up in your launcher. So make sure you get that. It's going to be very important. You're going to add it to every single table. Okay, next we're going to set up that flash drive. So go to your flash drive, right click on it, and we're going to format this. Now to keep everything working consistent, we're going to set it as XFAT hit start it should format it after that we're going to go ahead and move that v pinball x file that you just got out of the discord that is basically the app that the pinball 4k is going to be looking for so we're going to take that and we're going to copy it or you can drag and drop it into the root of the drive when people say the root of the drive they mean just directly onto the drive not inside of any folder or anything like that is the base of the drive next we're gonna right click and make a new folder this is gonna be named external so this folder is basically where we're gonna keep all of our games that we're wanting to use um, everything will go directly into here from this next point on and next, we're going to go get our game files. So to do that, we're going to go back over to the unofficial at games discord and the getting started tab. Here, you'll see a link for the GitHub repo. This repo is where everybody has been uploading all of the games that they've been testing, the settings that work. This shows the FPS you can expect out of the current settings that have been uploaded, whether or not it requires a ROM, a little bit of information. So. The first thing you're going to do is go and click this green code button. Next, click download zip. This will download basically all these game files. So once you have done that, you'll see a file here. It says VPX standalone ALP 4K. Go ahead and click into that. Click into the external folder. Remember I said that external is basically where you're going to be keeping your games. So we're going to click that and really you could just copy the external folder directly over to your drive um, and replace the current one if you planned on having all of these that's pretty ambitious it would take a lot of time to get it all set up but if you plan just doing one or two here and there you can go in here and just pick a folder to start with um, that'll copy over the settings that you're looking for so we're doing f14 tomcat so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to copy this I will take it to my external folder here in my flash drive and we're going to paste it there. All right. So now we have the base settings here. Um, next, and this is pretty important. 
I'm going back to my downloads and I'm going to that VPX launcher um, dot elf file. So the reason this file again is very important is this is what the application is going to look for to show that that table is there. Without it, the table is not going to show up um, on the pinball table. Okay, so we're going to grab that, we're going to copy it, or paste that here. I'll we'll right click on this, we're going to hit rename, and we are going to rename it the same as these two up here. So you see this is a VPX file, well, VPX at the beginning, VPX at the beginning. You want this to be named the same. Um, even though there are different files, this is what, again, um, the actual browser there on the 4KP is going to be looking for, um, for it to show up. So we're going to name it F14 and Tomcat. Super important. These all have to be named the exact same. Let's get that out of there. There we go. So. All these have to be named the exact same if, say, uh, you make a mistake like I almost did there, where you leave something in, um, or uh, maybe one of these is capitalized, uh, then it won't work, it won't show it. All these have to be named the exact same. Very, very, very important. Okay, next we're going back to the GitHub. From here, we're going to go ahead and go down to the game that we're wanting to download. So in this case, it is going to be the F14 Tomcat game. We're going to click it. This will take us to the page for it. I have an image of the table. Below that, it's going to have the links to everything you need, um, a little more information, and instructions. Instructions are very, very important. It is very easy to go through and assume that they are all the exact same because a lot of them are pretty simple. They are not all the same. Some will have an extra step or two. Just be sure to read the instructions. Secondly, when you are downloading these tables, these are the versions of the files that are tested to work. Make sure you're downloading the right version. Um, no guarantees whether or not it'll work otherwise. Some will have an older version and a newer version. Make sure you download the tested one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click all these open up each link um this is the first one this is going to be part of the actual game you're going to need this you're going to hit download file when you do that it will usually here i'll show it to you on this one i'll bring this up click download there's a timer there it'll start in about 15 seconds keep in mind these websites you do have to log into to be able to go ahead and download um they're free websites however you are limited to how many files you can download a day i didn't want to download that again but i guess i did anyways you're limited to how many of these files you can download a day um unless you pay i believe the subscription is like ten dollars a year it's something pretty cheap so anyways you're gonna download each of these so that download this this is the b2s file this is basically going to be the back glass in the DMT. So you're going to want that. And lastly, this is the ROM. Um, so this is the ROM for that game. You would just click here to download that. Um, keep in mind ROM files. Some may not look exactly like what the game's going to be. So this one does say F14 on it. However, there are some games that may use a ROM from another game. Basically, what you have there is a table that kind of has a skin on it. Um, so really, it's playing a different table, but it has a skin. You'll see that here and there. Okay, so now we have those downloaded. We're going to go ahead and start putting them where they belong. So it's this file here and these two. I am going to just start with the one on the right and move backwards. So the one furthest to right is the DMD. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy that and take it and put it into our folder on our drive. All right, so we got the DMD there. Next, I'm gonna tab back over and we are going to snag this here. This is the VPX file. It's part of the actual game. So we're gonna grab that. And while we're at it, we're gonna take this music file. We're gonna copy both. 
put them right here. So now we have a music file. With some other tables um, that run music, they may not have a music file included there. All you would normally need to do is if you can find the music, just right click, make a new folder, name it music, take those files, put it in there, you should be good to go. Okay, so now we have both of those and we have one more file back here that we need to grab. That is our ROM file. Notice that this one is zipped like the other ones. This one has to stay zipped. You're not going in, pulling anything out of it. You are keeping this one zipped and you're gonna copy it. Go over to pin mame this folder here, ROMs, and you're just gonna paste it there. Okay, so again, you take that, copy, go to pin mame, ROMs, paste that folder. Make sure one more time, you do not pull anything out of this folder or unzip it. It has to be zipped there in the ROMs folder. Next, and this is gonna be our final step, those two files that we just added, the VPX file and the B2S file. For the game to work properly, you are going to need to make sure these are both named the same thing. So to keep everything in line here, I'm gonna take the B2S file and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna rename it. And I'm just going to get rid of that there. Type in 1.6 so it matches the other ones. Keep in mind, there is a little space there um, right before the 1.6. So if you're following that, make sure you have that little space there. Anyways, so now, those two files, the VPX and direct B2S file are named the same. If that is done wrong, you will not have a back glass um, or DMD. So you need to make sure that that's set up properly and you should be good to go. Now what you're looking at is the complete game folder. This is gonna have everything that you need to go ahead and play. So go ahead and unplug your USB, plug it into the back of the machine, make sure you're plugging it into the USB 3.0 port that's the blue one. Um, if you're looking at your machine from the back, it's going to be the one furthest to the right. So go ahead, plug it in, and try it out. Danger Zone, you did it. This is how it should look if everything's right. If something's a little off, don't worry, we're about to troubleshoot. Okay, so I did everything right, but it's not showing external applications. Now, that can be a few things. So let's go ahead and pop the USB drive back in. Okay, so it looks like we have the V pinball X file here in the root. That's where it's supposed to be, as long as that's there. We have the external, that's there where it's supposed to be. Go into Tomcat. All right, so first place we're gonna look is, like I said before, we need to make sure everything is spelled right and um, there are no issues with that. Keep in mind, capitalization matters. So let's look at these files that make it show up, the VPX files. We see Tomcat, Tomcat, Tomdog. Oh, that's not right. So that is our issue. We're gonna go and we're gonna rename it. There you go. Now you are all set. Go ahead, take it out, put it back into the pinball machine, and that should be showing up. No back glass or DMD. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty easy fix too. Okay, so we have the drive back in. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna navigate back to the folder, so external Tomcat. And first thing we're gonna check is our VPX file that we had added and our direct uh, B2S file because those have to match up. If one of those don't match up, it can cause that issue. So we look at those two, that and this, okay. Oh, wow, okay, so that one's 1 1.6. This is 1.7 Amazeballs edition. Okay, we can't do that. So we're gonna have to go and again, rename and it has to be 1.6 there we go 
that problem is fixed, go ahead and put it back in. Everything should be working properly. The lights look pretty dark and the game will let me insert coins, but I can't start it. Let's fix it. Okay, so USB drive is back in and we're gonna go and check the files. So with that issue, normally if you can insert coins, um, but the game won't start up, something like that. First thing we're gonna check is pin name and we're gonna check out the ROM. Okay, so the ROM looks like it's here, but oh, that's right. So I unzipped it and put the folder in here. This will do us any good. So we're just gonna delete that. And then since we were smart enough to keep that ROM file in our downloads or wherever, we're just gonna go ahead and grab that and put it right back in there. Okay, so with that back in the folder, everything should be good to go. Go ahead and pop your drive back out and go play some pinball. Okay, so I did everything, but I'm still having some issues. That's no problem. Go back to the unofficial at game server, go to beta testers. Go up here to the search feature and this is just going to look through this channel to see if um, that same issue comes up. So we're going to type in, um, say we're having an issue like we just showed, where the uh, coin sound will play, but you can't start the table. We're going to type in coin sound, see what that pulls up. Oh, hey, look, somebody else is already having an issue with that. So if you click that, it'll go to somebody talking about a similar issue, if not the same issue. So that's a great place to start. Secondly, if you can't find it there, we can go ahead, go back to our folder here, and we can ask somebody to help us out. So the easiest thing to do, so that whoever we're getting help from knows what we're looking at, just go ahead, hit the Windows key, type snip to bring up the snipping tool, hit new, and then we are going to highlight all this here. So we have our file path, all our files and file names. That way, somebody's not just kind of shooting in the dark. So we're gonna go back to Discord. We don't have to save it. Just hit Control V and then type in whatever message issue you're having and asking for help with. Um, somebody there should be able to help you out. Um, everybody there is pretty nice. Um, just trying to make sure you include that screenshot. Okay, so that finishes up the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Wraith in the Discord. And uh, let me know what's up. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.